You're watching Entertainment Focus, and I'm Misha B. How are you, Misha? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good had a busy stuff. day doing promo. Tell us what you've been doing. Uh, well, I've um, had various different in interviews and different fun things. Love It magazine came, and we did a bit of a photo shoot, which was fun. And over this last week, uh, last week I had my radio tour, which was nicely finished off by some time at Lovebox. I got to see my favourite artist, which is Maverick Sabre, perform live. Also, Emily Sande and Rita Ora, which was a great experience. So how excited are you to be on the trail now for your own single and talking about you rather than The X Factor? I'm very excited for my single. It's almost like, is this really happening? I've actually, I, I actually didn't see my song on TV and my video on TV up until less than an hour ago. I was walking in here and all I heard was the beginning opening for my for my song and then I banged on here, Becky, Becky, it's on. So then like we all ran out and it's just like I was, I was quite overwhelmed, I couldn't really speak. <laughs> Is it strange seeing yourself on TV? TV, yeah. Were you happy? Yeah, happy, happy. It's like, man, wow. So tell us about the track, it's called Home Run, it's coming out soon, um, what can people expect from it? Well, it's called Home Run, out July 15th, and for me, Home Run, Home Run started off as a ballad that I wrote about an ex quite some time ago. Um, I was put in the studio with a guy called M and EK, and I asked him, when we, when we got in the studio, I asked him to look at my retake on Cindy Lauper's Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, which I performed on the show and asked him like what type of vibe he gets off me as an artist and he answered like fun fresh and quirky so we started like working on the production side of things kind of sprucing everything up and then i muttered out the words to the ballad which i wrote which was baby i don't know what you've done but you've done one done hit a home run and he was like that's the chorus i was like mm, i don't know and after a while it stuck and we started adding the main ingredients and before we knew it we had home run. And what's it been like being able to be so creatively involved because people often misconceive that artists that come out of shows like The X Factor have nothing to do with their music and you've been the complete opposite what's it like to have so much control? It's, it's amazing like I'm lucky enough to have a team and we'll be working with producers where it's everything in the sense of a collaboration and being allowed to be free and me and you've got your stamp all over it, haven't you? Everything that we loved about you on the X Factors there in the single, it's feisty, it's different, it's uniquely you. Yeah. And was it important for you to retain that uniqueness that you had on the show? Yeah, I think it's definitely important for me to just remain myself and staying true to my, myself as an artist. I feel like in terms of artistry, it, it will grow and um, people will love it, people won't love it. But um, I feel like as an artist, it's maintaining the happiness with what you're doing, that counts. It doesn't sound like a debut single though, does it? It sounds like you've been around for ages and that it's oh, just wow. another, you know, pop gem from you. How does it, how okay. did it feel to come out with something so accomplished, really? Wow, it never really looks like it like that, but thanks. Um, I, it's amazing, I feel like it's a good starting point and it really does capture my style. Um, we've got the Caribbean influences, which is my life has been heavily Caribbean influence because of my background and my family. It's also got the soul and Motown influences, which I, as an artist, am very influenced by. And that pop element to it, the electro, the dance. It's one of those records that kind of just make you want to dance. It definitely just make me want to dance. And would you say, is it indicative of what we can expect from the album? Um, Home One's just one chapter. It's like we've experimented experimented with various different genres and sounds like we've experimented with, we've experimented with rock but indie it's a bit of everything every song on the album is has stemmed from a real life experience so so you've been writing the album as well yeah yeah and um, what what do you do when you're in the studio how do you come up with the concept for a song where do the, where does the ideas come from it's a feel for it it's like right away sometimes like when i'm in the studio i may have ideas it's like when i'm on the bus when i'm in the forgive me when i'm on the toilet something might come to my head so you'll stop what you're doing 
even if you're in a mid conversation and just record it on your phone because that split second and those couple of minutes those couple of seconds which you take to record something on your phone you just don't know what you, the song's going to turn out to be so it's a constant thing where ideas are flying into my head and flying out and studios where it all kind of flies out and prior to the single you had the mixtape yeah. which came out why did you decide to do that well a mixtape is something that i've always wanted to do before x factor and um i felt like the time was right for it i felt giving back to my fans was only right and um giving them a taste of what's yet to come so the mixtape was right so the next thing we want to see is we want to see Misha be live when can we see that happen yay Misha be live well i can't wait it's one of my favorite things about this whole process um, I've got my tour coming up dates are yet to be confirmed and um, also my performance at Yo-Yo's and G.A.Y. which I'm very excited for and what kind of experience should we expect from me should be like me should be, be experienced me should be experienced I can't wait it's gonna be fun I'm gonna have fun bye <laughs> Oh, Do you still get nervous performing live? Or is it if those nerves kind of gone now with the experience you've had? Nerves are a whole part of it. I've kind of, kind of um, learnt to accept the fact that nerves will never go away. But the good nerves. Because without nerves, you don't really get that adrenaline rush to kind of go out there and do your thing. And do you have that moment when you step onto the stage, you're really nervous, you see the crowd and it just switches to professional me should be? Yeah. It's like, it's like you go to work, you step into your... Work shoes, that like you step into, I step into my work shoes when I step on stage and that moment becomes yours and it's about owning it. So what else have you got coming up in 2012? Have you got anything else you can share with us? The album, another single, performances and various different things, who knows? Maybe acting, fashion? Yeah, it's like um, away from my music and stuff, um, I'm heavy on fashion and I'm always drawing, doodling. And one day. I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah, one day. <laughs> I'm not sure about it like now. I just want to focus on my music. But definitely one day I'll be interested in putting out a fashion line or just anything to do with that. And last question, probably jumping the gun a bit, but are you um, going to focus on the States at any point in the future, do you think? I wouldn't just say, like, States on a whole. I feel like one of my main goals in life is to inspire worldwide. So America, as big as it is, is only just one place. Well, there's loads of places in it. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I love the world. It's like when I did my school tour and the tours, the most exciting thing about it all was travelling to the different cities and getting the different feel from each city and the accents. Imagine what it's like worldwide. It's crazy, crazy good. So you're coming to take on the world? Ready to inspire the world. Thank you.